We are in the West Tower of the Riverfront Plaza building in downtown Richmond, and the reason that we're here today is because we have uh, four Peregrine Falcon Chicks. They are 29 and 31 days old today, and we're here because today they're receiving their bands. Banding is a really, really important thing that we do with uh, species of birds. When it comes to peregrine falcons, this is a species that is state-threatened in Virginia. We have roughly 30 to 35 breeding pairs every single year. Their numbers are, are getting higher, you know, as we, we track them year to year, but it's definitely a species that we still want to keep up with and, and keep monitoring. Falcons were reintroduced back into Virginia uh, starting in the late 70s uh, through the early 90s. This was a species that was extirpated uh, east of the Mississippi as a result of DDT and other factors. So it's very important to be able to track every individual bird. And birds are banded in order to keep track of them. We are bringing them into the building where we're collecting a series of measurements, things like certain wing measurements, we're getting weights on each of the chicks. And then the other thing that we're doing is sexing each of the chicks. Female peregrine falcons are larger than the, the male peregrine falcons. And so based on the weight of the chick, um, we're able to identify the sex. But the other thing that we're able to do is we use a, a leg band tool that based on the, the width of the falcon's leg, that will also tell us whether or not it's a male chick or a female chick. They're mostly full grown, so there's no concern about let's putting a band on and then the bird's leg continuing to grow and it becoming too tight or, or whatnot. These are the bands that they're gonna wear for the rest of their lives comfortably. The birds receive two bands, a federal band that has a unique numerical ID that identifies that individual, and then a field readable band. All of our known falcon pairs are monitored on an annual basis. Knowing what birds are there by being able to read the bands is valuable information. You can tell if there's been turnover, and it also gives you information on how long the birds have been alive. So if you are interested in um, checking out the falcons or learning even more about the falcons and the history of the falcon cam, you can definitely check out our website. I'd also encourage you to look at any of our other live streaming cameras. We have a shad cam if you are an angler or an aquatics lover. We have an elk cam out in Southwest Virginia. And then we also have a marsh cam, which is out at Hog Island WMA in Surrey, Virginia. So there's a ton of different really, really cool stuff that you can see.